All right, we are taking it like down the street now. I got up out of the seats. Catherine's trying to keep me awake doing this. I'm here with Molly. Hi, Molly. Hi, how are you? I'm, I'm good, how are you? <laughs> hot, we're hot and tired. We've all been out here all day. Uh, did you do a shakeout ride this morning or did you get right to work? Um, I got right to work. Yeah, I did uh, the chamois butter uh, shakedown ride. Shakedown ride. With Marley Blonsky, we did the first, ten, first, ten, first and last 10 miles of the course. Awesome. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. And there were like a thousand of your best Yeah, it was there. insane. There were like a thousand people <laughs> on this like shakeout ride. It really was insane and like amazing. Like the the vibe and the energy and the community and the culture here is crazy good. Yeah. It's so well, good. And and you were you were you came back in with Molly, right? Oh, back in with Molly. Yeah. Um I'm sorry. Marley? Yeah, Marley. Sorry. Yeah. I'm serious. Like this we're, is <laughs> we're cra I just we're all really tired. And like there's a point when like you're on your sixth or eighth Americano and you you're, you it just doesn't do anything it's, anymore. It's, we it's keep like drinking not iced coffee anything. and it's not doing anything. <laughs> Well, I really want to talk to you about... Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay, this, the ride this. wristbands. Yeah. Um, I started an advocacy org this spring to directly work with, you know, politicians, policymakers, the cycling industry brands, our governing bodies, and, you know, politicians, scientists, researchers, you know, but also do a big cultural change and lobby and advocate for LGBTQ plus people in the cycling industry and the sport. Um... And then we, Ian Boswell and I started rocking these wristbands and then he won um, Unbound yep. Gravel on it. And he's such a pro. All of his post-race media was just talking about my organization and the work I'm doing. So they're a fundraiser. We've got Goo Energy uh, has a bunch as well as Wahoo. And you can go and pick one up and just grab one now. And then if you go to the ridegroup.org website, you can make a donation. And it's just helping me continue to do the work. And, and it's wild because, you know, cycling really hasn't done a lot of this stuff yeah. and it really particularly on lgbtq issues and you know uh education and awareness so we're starting from zero with most people and brands and it's great because there's a lot of work to do and it's it you know the reception's been overwhelmingly positive and a lot of pro riders and amateurs are wearing these and it's just a conversation starter a little bit of a show of solidarity and it really it's like hey i'm committed to having like a critical discussion about this and yeah, it's been it's been you're, wild. You're been pushing amazing. the whole cause forward, which is just amazing, and you're yeah. keeping it at the forefront. I, you know what? All of us are because yeah. if anything, like I had to start an org and and a nonprofit and a foundation to get it going, but we're all doing the work. You know, I I haven't really yet had a negative reception or any brand or organization or business that's been like, no, no, thanks, we're not interested. They're like, yeah, let's start talking and let's explore this. Like, what can we do? You know, like how can we help? I mean. You know, this is affects. I, I've been saying this a lot. I'm I'm not just trying to slap a rainbow flag on whatever bike company's social media. And this is about your employees and your coworkers, their families. You know, and then also just being a part of the, this scene and community and truly being like, hey, you know, sure we don't discriminate, but not only that, like, hey, we're welcoming you here. Like, we want you here. And you know, again, like. I'm also, you know, doing a lot of other social justice work and racial justice work and, you know, sustainability and the environment. And it's just so intersectional and all this stuff is related to each other. And I don't know. It's wild. You know, we're here with Ride for Racial Justice is right here and they're getting me fired up and I'm getting them fired up. And Heck yeah, we're yeah. all we're all doing the work, which is awesome. Awesome. OK, yeah. final question. Yeah. After your ride tomorrow, your go to beverage and your go to mm. food. I'll probably find a Coca-Cola. I mean, you can't. I, embarrassingly like watching the Tour de France as a youngster and seeing all the pros drink a coke I was like and I just I have it it's like I want that after a hard ride my go-to food after a, ooh, a long hot hard ride I mean if they're cold I'd eat vegan chocolate chip cookies uh, I, I, but you know I'm probably gonna I'm not gonna find any here in Steamboat <laughs> I, I god what am I gonna eat after this ride I just need a sandwich. I need some kind of seitan sandwich or something. I'm sure this brew pub has a vegan vegetarian sandwich I can dive into. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hey, and congratulations on your engagement. Oh, yeah. That's yes. awesome. I should give a shout out yeah. to my fiance, Alexander yes. Burton. I love you to death. And <laughs> her family's amazing. I love I love that woman. So nice. yeah, we're, good, we're, good we're, we're 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 super excited. And I told her I was like, we're gonna have a wedding. We're gonna have a family wedding. Then we're gonna have like all of our kind of bike racer friends wedding. And then I was like, yeah, we're gonna end up like doing something in an event. So maybe I should like have a lottery, and then we'll pick one event. Like maybe it'll maybe it'll be SBT, and we'll just oh, throw I a like rager. 
big celebration for our wedding and yeah. So awesome. All Stay right. tuned. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> thanks.